Hi guys, welcome to InVision. Nick here. Well, we've got things turned around and hopefully you can see a little easier, a little better, where we're going with this project. We've got the uh, wireframe blueprint in behind and uh, basically the donor in front. Right now we're going to be starting on, well I've actually started on, the wireframe buck. So I've got the rear rod in place, I've just started forming the front one for the front wheel arch, then the fender can come off and uh, we can start filling in the spaces in between. We'll head over to the vise in a second and uh, show you what I'm doing with that half inch rod in terms of bending it and how we're bending it to, uh, to basically outline and mimic those blue lines there on the wall. So let's go take a look. We've got the arc for the fender formed and this back leg is rolled up and this is going to be the outer point of the rocker and this is going to tie into the structure underneath the vehicle. So right now we're going to tack it to the body but then after, once I have a few more pieces worked up into place, we're going to reconfigure that so it's independent of the body. And what I'm working on right now is this front leg that will blend into the front fascia. So I need to bring that around. Like I mentioned, it's half inch rod, so it's not too forgiving. I start off by bending it by hand and then take the uh, big hammer here and just work it around. Let's go test fit this, see how it looks on the car. Matching over the datum point back here at the fender lip. And uh, well, I've gone a little too high. So I know this has to be about an inch lower than the fender flare of the Mustang. And uh, you can bring this around a little bit. Okay. It's fitting not too badly there. Now, this corner is up a bit too high on the left side where my pinky is, so I'm gonna have to go back to the vise and just pull that down a bit. I'll be right back. There are times when you fit this and you'll go back and forth uh, more than a dozen times. Okay, that's good. Now, the other thing is it's pointing inwards a little bit too far. I'm gonna have, I'm taking swing this piece of rod upward so it matches with the fender line. I need to give this a torsional twist to bring this out because it's pointing here where it's too far. Okay. Let's go fit this one more time. Hopefully. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Now, the other thing is that line is, uh, it's a curve. This should be a, a curve here, and this is a straight line sticking out. So I'm gonna go back to the vise and give that a bit of a tweak and create a bit of a bend in this area. If they can bump this a little bit. Okay, as you can see, we've got this slight curvature starting off the fender edge and into the front fascia. We might trim this back later on, not sure yet, but uh, we can bend that on the car afterwards. So let's go get this into place. From previous projects, we created these jigs here, and they clamp onto the frame table, they hooked on, and then we can uh, tack our rods or whatever temporarily in place at a certain point until we have the rest of the structure in place to support that rod, and then these will be removed after. So I need to figure out which one will work best. That one doesn't seem to be too bad there, so I think we'll run with that one right there. Watch your eyes. Okay. Give 
this up into place. I am closing the wheel well of the Mustang and they have these huge openings around the wheel wells. We don't want that look. So pull this edit a bit, drop this down, some sweeping in nicely. I'm gonna put a little tack up here. Vice grip on here so it doesn't move around. Okay, that's good. There's our second piece in place. Now we can join the two sections together with the rod down here and start working our way upwards. Okay, let's get this fender off and uh, we don't need that anymore and you'll get a better idea where the fender arch falls. looking pretty good. We just have the two wheel arches in place. We can already see where things are going with this. Um, next step is going to be to get that rod in place down here, front to back, just to get this connected. And uh, this car is not going to have rock or running board. It's going to have rockers instead. And uh, my, my thought was just to give it a more clean, streamlined look from front to back. You guys may have noticed this panel here. This is the deck from behind the rear seats of the Mustang. And it used to sit back over here. Now, it didn't work with the design, so we started cutting it out, drilling out the spot wells. We've been looking at it. I said, if we turn it around 180 degrees, we might just be able to reuse it in this location. Now, we mocked it up here. It is a bit low. It should be about here. If it works out, fantastic. If not, well, we can make a whole new section from scratch. The front seats are going to end up about here, so you can have this space here. And uh, it is a Ford business coupe, so they never really had seats in the back. They did have these opera seats at one point in some of the models but uh, they weren't too comfortable. So this would be a perfect opportunity for the client to have a storage compartment for his golf clubs or whatever he wants to store back here, moonshine, whatever. Now this brings us to this area over here, how we're gonna finish this off. The M40C has a B pillar roughly in this area. And the Mustang, before we cut it, sat here. So it's a lot longer. Now, if we take and stand this up, just like this, it gives you a better perspective of the proportions of the cab and where the door is going to end. What I'm going to work on now is getting this rod in for the lower rocker panel. This car is not going to have running boards, as I mentioned before. It's going to have rockers, just to give it that more streamlined look from front to back. Regular cars, OEM cars, you have to pinch weld under here. You can, you can usually see from the side of the car, and it looks pretty ugly. Once we form these rockers, it's going to come in hooked in behind the pinch weld, and you're not going to see that. We have a nice smooth roll under the car, and this is the, the ride height. This is actually the, the car is actually set at ride height, so this is the, this represents the ground. So this is going to be the space between the body and the ground, and we do have room to bring it down another inch in the front, an inch and a half the back if we wanted to, but uh, it is a driver and we don't want any hassles in terms of wiping the rockers out on the road later on. Next step for me is to get the roof center line established on the car. So, we get some material and warm up this line in through here.
Okay guys, so what do you think? This thing's are really starting to take shape. Got the wheel arches in place, lower rockers, got the B-pillar mounted. We needed some clamps, so I just put a few tacks here for now. And uh, with the clamp gone, it'll give us a chance to get the seat in a little easier. I'm gonna get that in, just mock things up and see how it feels in there. Um, this rear deck will work the way it is, except we have to move it ahead a bit to correspond with the rear window. Um, there's not enough material in this section, so once these webs go in, we will move that ahead and just fix it to those webs a little easier later on. Um, silhouette of the roof line is in. You see a nice gentle sweeping curve downward towards the glass. That's really starting to take shape. It's looking, looking good. So next time we're going to get the shoulder line in place and uh, get, this, get this door line established here. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.